so well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our celebrity from Brighton Beach, Konstantin Rechlevsky, karaoke champion, genius, will read you a story that he witnessed in Czechoslovakia in 1999. It's, it's, it's a short story which based on the, on the true events. Konstantin, please, welcome. The Czech Mark Nisif, the author X Mikhail Salita, epigram. The most powerful symptom of love is a tenderness which becomes at times almost insupportable. Victor Hugo. Prologue. Lagan has it that Mahdis have a fondness of shiny objects. But in 1999, the Czech Republic, one clever professor discovered just how true this was when he began feeding them very much. What started as a simple act of kindness soon turned into a full-blown haste as the magpies began bringing him rings and other old jewelry in exchange for their daily meal. The professor couldn't believe his luck, but little did he know that the birds were just as true as he was. And so the story of Czech Mark P. C. was born, a tale of love, tenderness, and unexpected consequences. The Czech Mark P. C. a tale of a clever professor and true birds. In 1999, in Czech Republic, a clever professor of biology began feeding Magpies with Perina. To his surprise, the girls began bringing him rings and other gold jewelry as tokens of gratitude. The professor continued his exchange for two years until the police caught the wind of his unconventional behavior and arrested him for theft. The story quickly spread and many were amused by the audacity of the professor and the ingenuity of Marcus. However, with the professor behind bars, both people and Marcus alike began experiencing the consequences of unemployment. As the years passed, the story of the Czech Mark PC became the stuff of legend, a cautionary tale of land, some will go for love, and unexpected consequences that can arise from it. Epilogue. Years passed, and the legend of Czech Mark PC continued to grow. Some loved an absurdity of it all, while others marveled at the ingenuity of the professor and the shrewdness of the madness. But as time went on, the story took on a new meaning, a reminder of unpredictability of life and the strange path that love can take us down. The professor never forgot the lesson he learned from his peasant friends and he continued to study and appreciate the beauty of the natural world. And as for Macbeth, they continued to sleep in their own way, always keeping an eye out of the next shiny object that might come their way. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.